We call colostrum liquid gold. It's so important for that neonatal calf. It has lots of things in it. It has vitamins and minerals and protein and fat, all the, all the important nutrition parts that, it, that a calf needs to help get it going. But it also has these protective immunoglobulins or antibodies that it gets from the cow. And those, we, we call them IgG or immunoglobulin G. That's the most common antibody that is found in colostrum. And that is gonna be the protective antibodies to help prevent disease in those newborn calves. The reason why calves need to get up and consume colostrum from their dam is because they can't absorb it while they're in utero, so inside the uterus of the cow. And that's because of the type of placenta that cows have. So it's made up of six different layers, and those layers allow small molecules like oxygen and small nutrients to cross the, the placenta barrier, but large molecules like immunoglobulins, IgG, cannot cross the, the placental barrier. In a well-vaccinated herd, so when the cows have been really well vaccinated against these common diseases, she's going to have these antibodies in her blood system that are going to help protect her against those diseases. So a couple of weeks prior to calving, those antibodies are going to go into her colostrum and be there so that when the calf gets born and nurses and, and consumes the colostrum, it can consume those immunoglobulins and then absorb them so it can be protected as well. There are several effective ways to keep colostrum on hand, but the best option is to always have your own banked supply by simply freezing bags of colostrum from your own cows. Never bring in raw colostrum from another farm, as it could introduce pathogens or disease to your herd, and only the colostrum from your own cows will contain all the right antibodies needed most by your calves. Generally speaking, if a calf hasn't gotten up and nursed between two and four hours after birth, the producers should probably intervene and help that calf consume colostrum. An easy way to remember how much colostrum to give a newborn calf is to aim for two liters by two hours. Then, if the calf still hasn't gotten up and nursed from its dam, repeat another two liters within 12 hours. There's three products on the market that you might feed to a, a newborn calf. There's Milk Replacer, which is going to be for usually those bottle-fed calves that are going to need to be supplemented for their nutrition. Then there's going to be the colostrum, both supplements and replacers. So colostrum supplement is just as it sounds. It's a supplement. It's not meant to replace. It's just meant to give that calf a little extra boost after it's maybe nursed from its dam or maybe it had a little slow start. The colostrum replacer is meant to be just that, a replacer. So calves that don't get up within the first couple hours and nurse from their cow, they are going to need to be given a replacer product. And that's going to be higher in fat and protein, as well as higher in immunoglobulins. And so when you're looking at these products, if you want a true colostrum replacer product, you should look on the bag and look for products that have at least 100 grams per package. We can feed those calves via nipple bottle or we can tube feed those calves with an esophageal tube feeder. So if a calf is nursing from the dam or nurses from a nipple bottle, there's a special anatomic structure at the bottom of its esophagus. It's called the esophageal groove. And that closes so that when that calf nurses, it directs that milk or colostrum directly into the abomasum. So it bypasses the rumen. Whereas when we feed a calf with an esophageal tube feeder, it, that groove does not close and that milk or colostrum will go directly into the rumen and then has to slowly fill the rumen, overfill, get into the abomasum, and then into the small intestine where it can be absorbed. Colostrum management is crucial to the success of any cow-calf operation and making sure that we get colostrum in a timely fashion into those calves can ensure that we have healthy calves to raise.